hi there once again welcome to my channel consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials in today's lesson i'm going to show you how to create this simple profile using cart and bootstrap okay i'm going to use bootstrap to create this so stay tuned and then see how i'm going to create this and i'm using bootstrap and bootstrap have colors and then i'm actually going to show you how you can break this into color this is the code i use in writing or achieving that particular effect okay how to create this card i'm going to show you how we can write this using this simple code so it's going to be a step that we're going to follow to create this this can actually be linked to a full profile page for every individual person you can see over here but we are not going to link this so we're going to just put a dummy link over there so when you click on this full profile it's not going to take you to any page and that is what we're going to do so let's jump into action and see how we can create this okay so i'm going to open my favorite code editor which is vsc code editor and i have a different file on my desktop i call it card i'm going to open this i basically don't have anything in this now i have just image so i'm going to click on file and then i'll open this so i'll go to open folder i'm going to open a complete folder so this is on my desktop and this card is over here i'll just select that and i open it when you open this i only have a CSS folder and then image folder. So the image I'm going to use for this, I have them within this folder. I'm going to show you the images I'm going to use. I have them here. If you go back to my desktop and I open my card, you can see I have those images within this image folder. So these are the images I'm going to use. And I've already added my bootstrap over here. I have videos on bootstrap, so you can visit my channel to check that how to use bootstrap. Okay. So once we get back to our text editor, we we'll create a new. So once we open this, all we need to do is create a new file over here and call it index.html. So I'll say index.html. Okay. So this is going to be our main page. Anytime you visit a site, that will be the main page you will see. So that's going to be our index, and we're going to generate our HTML template. Like I say, you can easily press shift and then the one key on your keyboard it's going to generate this exclamation sign when you press tab it's going to generate this for you the html template to work with so all we need to do is to let's we can easily give a title let's call it profile page so let's just call it a profile page and we're going to link we have our css that's a bootstrap within this folder we are going to use just the bootstrap.css okay so we'll link it within our header link it within our header so i'll say link and then it's in my CSS folder, so I'll first type CSS slash, and I'm going to use the first bootstrap, that's the first one, okay, and then we can now come to our body of our page, so you can start creating, the first thing is going to do, the first thing we are going to do is to create a div, and this div, we're going to give it a class of container, we'll first organize everything with a container, so I'll give it a class, and then I'll call it container, okay, so because we want to break everything as you can see if we check our final projects everything is within one row so within our container we'll, we'll create a row we'll create a row within this container we'll create a row within this container so i'll say div and i'll give it a class row so i'll say class and i'll call it a row okay so this is basically what we need next and we're now going to create a column bootstrap have 12 columns grid system the grid system have 12 columns and we want to break this into four so that means we're going to have three the first is going to take three the second will take three the fourth will take the third will take three and then the fourth will also take three and that will make it 12 columns okay so we're going to start by saying so we're going to create another div and this div, we're going to give it a class. So we're going to create our first column. So class, so column, there'll be hyphen, SL means large. So you can have S, SM for small device, MD for medium, and one LG for large, okay? And I want to first give a column of three over here. So that's the first column. So within the first column, we're going to create a card now. We're now going to create our card within the first column. So we're going to create another div and we'll call this div. 
we'll give this diff a class of card so it's a class card okay and this card we basically will give it a margin so we'll leave that margin for now but i'm going to give it a weight first so i'll give an inline style and i'll call the weight sorry I'll give a weight of 300 kilos for this okay so as this stage we will not really see anything but I'm going to embed the image into this because this is a card and within the card I'm going to use another image property so image and then I'm going to specify the source of my image okay so I have it within my mg folder img folder slash so I'm going to pick my first image and the first image I'm going to use serum and the alternative is if my image do not appear what they show what then should show so i want to say around to show the name should appear and okay so after that i'll give a class the class i'm going to give is going to be card hyphen image top so you want the image to appear on top of this particular card so we can go back and then reload this so i'm going to open this on my favorite browser so this is a card now we now have our index page i'll just open this so you can see we have our first image over here we have our first image and we need to actually bring the name and then the small profile description of that will bring our button down here so we're going to display we're first going to display our button as well and i'm going to have a body after bringing our image we create another div below this and then we create another div and we give that div the body we want to create a body of our card so i'm going to say card so i'm going to give a class and i'm going to call it card body okay so give the body to our card and then within this body we can give a title for a card that is where we're going to have the name of the individual so let's put that one in each one so let's call the name so i'm going to say say round and i'm going to give it a class so the class name is going to be card title okay so give it a card title so let's go back and load this and see what is going to happen so this is going to display the name down here so as you can see we have the name down here and you can see the image have actually fits the top of this particular screen but we just want to add a margin of at least five we'll give a margin of five all around our image so our card as well so that is it we'll give a margin of five so if i go back to load this you should have some space at the top so you can see we have a better space at this push it down a bit and then after giving the title of this we're going to give a paragraph okay so let's also give the paragraph this will give a short profile of the individual and it's going to be for paragraph and then we just say lorem let's just generate some random text lorem this is too much so i'll just delete portion of this i just need a few text to display as a profile of the individual so i'll delete portion of this lorem okay i think this is enough so once we have this lorem we're also going to give a class we'll give another card class called card text okay so let's do this and then we'll reload our page and see okay so you can see the description for the particular individual is going to display down here and then the last thing we're going to do is to give a button that people can click to view the full profile of the individual so what we're going to do is that we're going to display a button down here if you check our final project we check our final project here we have a button down here so that is what we're going to display down here as well so in order to do this we'll come down and then we're actually going to create a link so let's see href and then like i said we are not going to link it to the main profile page for now okay we're not going to link it to the main profile page and then within this i'm going to say full profile okay full profile and then we need to actually give 
a bootstrap class over here so call it a class called btn i'm going to give a pattern so btn btn dash primary okay so this is going to give btn primary and then when we go back here reload this page it's going to display the pattern here neatly you can see we've generated the first card or the first profile for the first individual so in order to do for the rest it's actually going to be very simple so you can see this our first column so let me just close this a bit let's organize this so organize this and then we have our first column so we need three more so this is our first column and it's going to end here all we need to do is you select this copy and then paste down or control d to duplicate this down so it's just basically going to be the same process all we need to do is to change the name for the next person so here i'm going to say matthew and the image source you have to select the image of matthew so over here the image slash so you select the individual which is going to be matthew down here and then alternative you can just say what matthew you can say what matthew okay so that is it if you go back and reload this you should add another profile image this is it that is matthew and then we can go ahead and we just have to duplicate that because we've created a column we just have to go ahead and select this down again just control d to duplicate or just copy and paste and the next person i'm going to enter here is going to be eugenia that's another profile select this down here and then select the name of the individual and then i'm going to go ahead and say eugenia so i'll give the name of the individual and under the card title is going to be what eugenia as well so we have this so we have this we can just go ahead and then load our page and then check the progress of this remember to subscribe to this channel because i'm subscribe to this channel because i'm going to show so much techniques right here on this channel a lot is going to come up and in order to be missing of my amazing video tutorial remember to subscribe so we should use several techniques right here on this channel so we're able to get our first three profile or card we can go ahead and then add the last one and then i want to balance this and i'm going to add image of myself okay so we just go ahead and then select the last one select all this duplicate it down and then the image i'm going to pick my own image so that is going to be team and then the name or team is going just going to be team with here okay and we just have to type the name here as well okay so when we load this page so you can see we've been able to update and then we added all this profile and it's such amazing it's just a simple thickness once you get one perfect you just have to duplicate for the rest and this is just a simple way to create a profile and then you can link it to a, a major profile on your website and then people can click and then they can view a full profile the person there are several ways we can do this and there are so many techniques bootstrap properties and other amazing stuff coming up in order not to miss all this you need to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial thank you so much for watching this bye bye